the all new DJ's Woo Breakfast. I'm Kenzie Moore, the DJ's Woo Breakfast is exclusive to Rise FM, the Toyota Zere and Vuma Langa is exclusive to Vuma FM and KZN's Vuma FM, the Toyota Zere, Vuma FM, the Toyota Zere, Vuma FM, Mas Chabankov is a seasoned media practitioner with a background in news and current affairs. She has contributed significantly to the media industry in the last eight years as a television and radio content producer, presenter, as well as a columnist for, I didn't know that you write for Destiny. Hey, can you believe it? When, when did the, 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 your love for writing start? Did you learn? You know that, no. What did you study? That's the interesting thing. Is that, <laughs> that's the interesting that's the thing. thing. Yeah. So when I was approached by Destiny, because they love the work that I do on the radio, yeah. um, they said to me, you know, we would really love for you to have your own column. They were conflicted between putting me on the cover, do, do we start with the column? Because can't do both. I said I'd rather have the column. Yeah, actually. longevity. I'd rather have, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd rather have the column. Uh, and and also because I'm able to channel my thinking and you know the things that that I'm I'm passionate about the the issues that we cover on the show through this column. And so when they asked me, do you write? I couldn't believe it. I said, do you know that I'm a writer before I'm anything? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I've been writing since I was eight years old. So you are fact, a writer. From the age of six, I've been writing short stories from mm. when I could hold a pencil. You know, like my son does now, he's eight years old. Yeah. And he writes little paragraphs of stories. Um, so I've always been consciously writing, creating. I initially, I used to write fictional stories. And then my mother gave me a diary when I was a kid. And... Um, and this diary was like my coping mechanism, yeah. but it also became the platform on which I learned how to express myself. I became more aware with my feelings, and people always ask me if I studied psychology, but it's only through my own self-analysis. What type of stuff do you like writing about? I love, I, love, I love writing about human issues. Like, human interest is my thing. Yeah. You know, when I was approached for the radio, I said, I'm not doing current affairs. I'm not interested in any breakfast show where I'm going to be talking to politicians and doing news. Yeah. I want to be in the evening. I want to talk to people. Yeah. I want people to remove their caps. Like yeah. the other time, there's no babu Yeah. I never once referred to him as deputy minister. It's yeah. not that kind of yes. show. Yes. Okay. You yes. know what I'm saying? Yes. He's yes. general Ubaba. Um. So it's really about talking about things like um family dynamics. I love to talk about sex. Yeah. I love. I love. I love. What are some of the things you talk about sex on your show? Well, you know, I've. I've. I've <laughs> it's fine. We all, we all, we all love sex. <laughs> Oh, we love sex. Well, no, you are allowed to. You're a married woman. Oh, yes. So it's oh, fine. You can oh, be as sex. free as possible oh, to talk about sex. sex. So, By the way, kids are already in class. It's 8 o'clock. They should be in class. Yes. Thank you very when much. When are you a married woman? You are more than allowed to talk about yeah. sex. So well, I'll tell you about a really awkward thing that happened once. So at the beginning of the show, right? Um, right at the beginning of my radio life. Yeah. Um, I had a conversation with a sexologist about anal sex. Yeah. Um, and I you heard it. And you were you listening? You yes. What yes. did you hear? <laughs> Well, there was, there was, um, if I'm not mistaken, there was like tips on how you can go about engaging in it safely, especially as a woman, if you have not tried it yeah. before. Yeah. Oh, uh, tips on how you can engage on anal sex as a woman if you've not tried it before. Yes. Oh, okay. And what, what were those tips? <laughs> Vaseline. No. <laughs> Lubricant. I'm, I'm, not yes. a, I'm not a sexologist. And you know, I try to get my husband to help, but he's, he's a typical Zulu man. He's like, aye, aye. Nothing, <laughs> nothing is going behind me. Nothing is going behind <laughs> What are you doing? <laughs> what, what did they say? What were those tips? As but said? here's the awkward uh -huh. thing. <laughs> what were those tips? We want to know. Well, from what I do, you know what? I remember it so clearly because I was on the call with my mother. Yo! <laughs> That's why I remember it so clearly. And I was listening and I was like sitting there, like, immense. And then after like 10, 15 minutes, she was like, What are we listening to? <laughs> and I was like, no, um, yeah, I don't know. And then when I got home, I ran to the, to the radio and I was like, <laughs> But um, yeah, but it was basically about uh, practicing as. They were essentially saying that as women, there are ways that you can practice to get that area used 100%. to. 100%. And here's what people um, don't know. Here's, what people, up. here's mm. what people don't know. I'm so sorry, Hukenakhanu. People don't know that the G-spot is actually in the anus. In that, oh, in that area, So yes. when you're practicing fellatio on a woman, mm. just try lubricating the anus. Don't put your finger all the way in there. Just sort of... Just not not no, not die. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's I said, don't put your finger in there. Don't, okay. don't put it in there. Just, just massage the perineum, as they say. Mm, massage the, the perineum. perineum. Yes. And breathe. And, 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 and thank you, Leila. Okay. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Benji, what's wrong? <laughs> Why are you shaking your hands? <laughs> what, Benji? What's up? 
sisters that are very open about it and you know conversing about it maturely that's the thing though do you know that you know as a woman it's it's kind of taboo for you to be um open about your sexuality mm. and and owning it so when you find that women are that way some people find it crass mm. but i think that it's it's extremely important for us to be speaking about these things because they are a part of life we're gonna have to hang out with her a little bit longer i know that she had other appointments they're gonna have to wait because <laughs> we're gonna have to hold her a little bit longer we're enjoying her in the studio her name is Master Chavandrovu. she is our ewcw our educator woman crush wednesday on the dj school breakfast is eight o'clock